John Croak, tip of the week. Have you ever thought that it's possible to hop up or soup up your Rotax 912 or 914 engine for more performance and more power? There's a company that's been in business for a while now providing services and components like electronic fuel injection, newly cut camshafts, turbochargers, large bore kits and more to get more power from your Rotax 912. Let's take a listen from our visit at AirVenture 2017 and learn more about these products. Hey, hello, my name is Thomas. Uh, I'm the CEO of Edge Performance in Norway and uh, we specialize in uh, upgrades for Rotax engines. So in front of me here we have a factory new Rotax 912 ULS uh, and we uh, specialize in, uh, in upgrades like fuel injection, we do performance upgrades and as you can see on top here we have our uh, 4 to 1 fuel injection intake design. Uh, it eliminates the uh, maintenance on the carburetors and the uh, synchronization, which for many is a headache. Uh, we, in fact, lighten the engine a couple of pounds and we actually gain some performance. Um, as you can also see, we do some like big board kits. We uh, make our own cylinders with a bigger displacement and uh, we also now do a turbo kit. So if you come around here, you can see we, um, we make our own turbo exhaust, but it uses the same location as the Rotax 914 to accommodate for uh, most airframes. And we use the Garrett turbocharger, which we modify. Uh, we have our own billet machined uh, compressor wheels to uh, get better performance in high altitude. And we uh, make our own wiring harness. They are made by Millspec, all pre-wired. They have their own serial and batch numbers for full traceability, which makes a really simple connection for the uh, installation. There's just a couple of wires for positives and grounds. And uh, yeah, so we've, we've been in business doing since 2007. And for the time being, we've sold 297 sets of the fuel injection. So we got about uh, 60 to 70 thousand hours accumulated flight time. And uh, for the fuel injection set, we've never had a single failure, so we're really proud of that. So we're seeing some reliable performance. Uh, and also, this is our, our newest creation now. We uh, offer a complete uh, ready-to-run motor. It's, um, it's built by a great new Rotex 912 ULS. Uh, we take it to our shop and we tear it apart. What we do is we take the crankshaft, which is press-fitted together from the factory, and that's the weak link in the Rotax. They tend to twist and warp as the power increases. So what we do is we take them out and we have a special tool that we weld the uh, rod journals in the crankshaft to make it all fixed and solid. And then we dial it afterwards, make sure it hasn't warped and make sure it's straight. We hook it back in. And by doing so, we uh, have a solid motor which can cope with the increase of power. So this particular engine uh, comes with 144, 154 sorry, uh, horsepower and um, it puts out 449 newton meters of torque on the propeller and the whole package is about 4 pounds lighter than the 912, 912 no, 914 and um, yeah, we, we sell it at a retail at $28,000 which is really competitive with the 914. So on top of that you're getting less weight, 30 horse more power and the yeah, added fuel injection like the 915 IS. So uh, yeah, really proud and happy with this. Uh, we have about 30 of these engines running now worldwide and uh, we're doing an OEM uh, deal with a company in Slovenia called Trixie Aviation. They're doing gyrocopters. They have one factory engine now in their gyro. They are past a thousand hours on it and it's running really strong and we have seen no signs of wear on that engine yet. So they seem to be holding uh, quite well together. Uh, if guy has an existing 912 UL or ULS, they can install the fuel injection set. Uh, it comes as a complete set with everything you need to install it. And it's really easy to install. It's a matter of taking off parts and installing the new ones. And it comes with a highly detailed um, photo illustrated installation manual. And the fuel injection kit uh, retails at about $5,200. Um, the big board sits we have uh, in ranges from uh, 
1400 cc to 1622 cc. Uh, they retail at about $4,200. We do a turbo and a normally aspirated camshaft. They're about 750 each. And the uh, fuel injection with turbo kit and the forged pistons, which is the base parts we use for these engines, uh, they're about $13,500. And all these things can be done either by the um, by the owner of the engine or we can uh, provide the installation or build the whole motor at our shop. Uh, we even have a uh, North American dealer now in uh, Alberta, Canada, Jason Busat from Badass Power Sports and uh, he also offers engine builds, uh, tech support and yeah, all customer service here in the US and Canada. Uh, here's some of our big board sets. These are made of uh, billet aluminum. They're CNC machined. They have some added fins for uh, increased cooling. And they're treated and plated with Nika seal, just like the original Rotax cylinders. These particular cylinders, they, they weigh less than the original cast ones. And they have way greater material density and better heat transfer than the original ones. So these comes from uh, 84 to 92 millimeter bore. So over here you can see the uh, forged pistons that we're using. Um, these replace the stock 912 ULS pistons if you want to go turbo. So these are more heavy duty ones, but they also drop the compression. And they come with ceramic coating to keep them cool and prevent detonation. And we also apply a thin coat of Teflon on the skirts to minimize friction and, and heat build up. So here is uh, the throttle body that we use on the injection systems. It's quite small, compact, thin and lightweight. It has some neat, neat features and one of them is that it has a built-in return to wide open return spring rather than most auto conversions. They go to idle if the cable would snap. Uh, and it also has a, a dual purpose TPS or throttle position sensor for um, various functions and um, an acceleration pump. And as you all can see, it has a patented design whereas it doesn't have any throttle shaft. It's a shaftless design with a chamfered butterfly plate. So what it allows us to is to run a smaller diameter throttle body, still having the same flow as a bigger one due to its uh, shaftless technology. And that helps us a lot when we get to close position or not near idle, because it doesn't come too touchy on the throttle end, so we get good feeling on the throttle. Uh, uh, here is our performance camshaft. It comes pre-grinded, it's uh, nitrate hardened. And uh, you simply just pull out your original camshaft, you, uh, you press on the new gears, and uh, there's two nice things about it. One is it's a nice performance upgrade, obviously. We do them for normally aspirated and turbo. But also for those who are doing uh, like engine rebuilds or overhaul rebuilds, or if they have a camshaft failure, you can install them. Uh, there's a bolt-on part, it gets better power, and they cost about one-third of the Rotax camshaft. So it's, it's a good up, upgrade. Here's the ECU that we're using. It's a light and compact unit. It has one connector that does it all. Uh, we have a port here for the uh, serial data uh, interface for the laptop. And we have a barometric sensor here for altitude reference. So by, by getting the inputs of the atmospheric pressure here, the ECU will automatically lean or enrich the engine depending on what altitude it's seeing. Well, I, I think that's wonderful that there are companies out there like that making products that improve and expand upon our existing engine technology. Very nice. Well, next week's tip, we're going to get back to technical details that will aid us in building our projects. So until then, everyone, please get back to work on your project.